Hey Gear Seekers, I'm Nick. I wasn't sure if we're gonna get a chance to do a Franken PC this month, but somehow I came up with an idea that we're actually going to expand on. Think of the premise of this video as kind of like being an appetizer for something crazy that we're working on with Cooler Master and Azrock. I think I said too much already. If you haven't subscribed yet, make sure you hit that button right now and turn on that little bell to receive notifications. We upload multiple times per week, so make sure you're subscribed. Also, we've got a Discord community and yeah, come and have a chat with us there. There is a link to that down below as well. In this month's Franken PC build, I'm gonna give new life to the Intel server board that we featured on our water cooled server build. I'm, I'm gonna say it was in, in March and we're gonna turn it into a virtualized gaming PC. You heard right, a server running VMware ESXi 6.5 that runs a gaming machine in a VM using a little bit of wizardry, a touch of tomfoolery, and a whole lot of luck to attempt to answer the age old question. But will it run Cron? Will it run Fortnite? is brought to you by ASRock and the brand new X470 Tai Chi. It's rocking addressable RGB headers, 10 gigabit ethernet on board, dual NVMe M.2 slots, and support for AMD's brand new 2000 series Ryzen CPUs. Find out more in the link in the description. Okay, let's start this off by quickly talking about everyone's favorite part, the parts. The motherboard is an Intel SP1400 FP4. The CPU is an Intel Xeon E5 2450 with 48 gigs of Micron triple channel DDR3 ECC RAM. The case is the Corsair Graphite 230T donated by one of our viewers. The GPU is the Gigabyte Aorus version of the Radeon RX 580. That's mainly the bits that matter. So yeah, let's jump into the build. Don't mind me, I'm just gonna interrupt every now and again throughout this build to, you know, just give some commentary on the things that I'm doing, kinda like how I am screwing in a motherboard right now. Yeah. cat came to visit today. <laughs> what a little cutie. Did you think because it's a server build that I wasn't going to get a splash of RGB? Are you crazy? Do you know what year this is? <laughs> Every server needs a mobile hard disk rack, so yeah, here's one that we're putting in the server for all of the removable storagings. <laughs> We're using two SSDs for the VMFS storage, yeah, just because it's fast and basically because it's fast. Bet you haven't seen red SATA cables in a while. Neither have I. I had these bad boys laying around somewhere. Since it's a Franken PC build, I thought I probably should add some old stuff as well. Time to add that slice of the pizza of resistance, the RX 580. In you go, mate. Get in there. You sly, sly bit of silicon. I'm 
time to install the OS, or VMware ESXi. All done, it's installed. <laughs> What I'm doing here is enabling a little thing called PCI pass-through, or Intel VTD. It actually allows you to pass physical devices through to virtual machines. These SSDs probably had something important on it, but nah, who cares, I'm going to format them in VMFS6 so I can install VMs on them. Yeah, that's basically how it works. Now I'm going to create the virtual machine. Just be aware that this is a new tutorial or a guide. If you do have any questions on how to configure ESXi, feel free to jump in our Discord community and yeah, you can ask me. I'm pretty happy to help you guys with VMware ESXi since I'm actually certified in VMware. After all that time setting it up and building the machine, it's time to power it on for the first time. Let's see if our hard work pays off. I'm gonna start the virtual machine here on my laptop in front of me and that's the display for the virtual machine. So let's see if it works. This will be like the coolest Franken PC ever. Okay, you ready? Powering it on. So VMware won't actually use the physical GPU until you boot into Windows and select it as a primary GPU. What you need to do is then disable the built-in VMware GPU for it to work as the primary GPU. Does that make sense? All right, so VMware does a few weird things when you want to use a PCIe adapter, like a video card as the primary display device. Actually, you need to install the operating system first and then enable that as a secondary display. So yeah, um, here it is running. Let's uh, see if we can get it to play some games. Before we get into any games, I just wanted to show you guys that there is no trickery or no second computer here at all. This is literally the setup. Check it out, right? Nothing underneath, nothing hidden. It's all a virtual machine. And yeah, I put the screen on top of the case so you could see all the hardware and whatnot inside the computer. But yeah, it's only a sex I can't believe this is a virtual machine. Uh, okay, let, let's, um... Let's not do that, and let's just go... I guess we'll go solo. I'm not good at Fortnite. Don't judge me for being bad at it. Probably gonna die again, just FYI, because I'm just not... Ooh, look. Things. Give me that. Someone's probably got like some OP sniper rifles gonna like blow my freaking head off. I don't think I've ever killed anyone on any game capture I've done for any weird gaming benchmark video that we've done. Cause I'm not good at this game. Give me any other game and yeah, I don't know. I just get anxious, but actually, yeah, it doesn't play too bad. I'm getting 60 frames per second all of the time with everything maxed out, which is very impressive, considering this is inside a virtual machine. Purple means kill. <laughs> well, that's like a, give me that thing. That thing looks gangster. I don't like the whole building mechanic of this game, just FYI. Yeah, well, I'm dead. But yeah, you guys understand, it, it, it works pretty good. Uh, I'm just not good at killing.
There you have it, a virtualized gaming PC. There was a fair bit of tweaking that I did to get this to work properly, but there was no config file changes or scripts. Everything was within what's possible in the SXI anyways. I hope you enjoyed the Franken PC build for May 2018. If you'd like to donate any parts to these builds, our postal address is down below. And yet, yeah, please don't send us anything weird if you're thinking of sending us anything. If you like this video, please like and subscribe. If you didn't like this video, you know what to do and tell us what you didn't like about it. Once again, Thank you so very much for watching. I'm Nick with Gear Seekers. You peak, we seek. And can you guys hear how loud this server actually is? It's loud. Mm -hmm.